Hi there, Taurus. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at the first full week of September, September 5 through September 11. And Taurians, in spite of last week's lingering Saturn-Neptune square, there are two productive trines and a constructive sign change on hand to help make this a very productive weekend. For those of you in the US, of course, it is Labor Day weekend, and that is a holiday on Monday. And it's really the last gasp of summer, especially for those on the East Coast, where they start getting cooler nights and cooler weather, and of course, by Thanksgiving, they're looking at snow. For those people on the West Coast in Los Angeles, we laugh at Labor Day. This is not the end of summer at all. Summer goes on pretty much all year for people on the West Coast. However, it is a big holiday in the US. The first trine is early Wednesday, September 7, between the Virgo Sun and Pluto. Of course, Pluto is in Capricorn, and you are an Earth sign as well. So it, this is a big deal, which is a terrific opportunity to successfully manage the details of any project or relationship to Orion. There's a collective sigh of relief on Friday, September 9, when the largest planet in the zodiac, Jupiter, the planet of opportunity, good luck, and good fortune, switches the confines of Virgo for the just and open-minded backdrop of Libra. Jupiter spends one year out of every 12, helping Libra balance the scales. Whilst Jupiter is in Libra, the next year will bring general good fortune and blessings to those born under a Libra sun, a Libra moon, or at a Libra hour, which means their ascendant is Libra. Like the other social air signs, Gemini and Aquarius, Libra celebrates diversity and if applied towards Libra areas, like balancing relationship ties and the resolution of legal issues. It seems highly likely that the next year will bring legalization of gay marriage to more states in the United States as well as other foreign countries which have so far denied gay people the right to be legally married and to have benefits and have children and all that sort of thing. I mean, you can have, they can have children but in a nuclear family with the same name and get married. And I think that Jupiter in Libra for the next year is going to be just the cosmic push a lot of governments and countries need. So keeping in mind that Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, is out of phase and remains out of phase through September 22nd. Now is not the time to try to push through anything, any agenda that you may have personally or professionally. It really is a time to sit tight, Taurian, see which way the wind is going to carry you and not get too caught up in what everyone else is doing. Just focus on getting through the Mercury retrograde. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.